proceed. Uh, good evening, Mr. Chairman and committee members. Um, I'm Maximo Cortez. I'm uh, 33. I'm from uh, Houston, Texas, originally from uh, West Texas. Um, I'm a survivor of non-consensual sex chain surgeries. I'm an intersex person and was born with, inter uh, with uh, ambiguous genital. Intersex, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's whenever someone is born with an anatomical chromosomal or hormonal difference that deviates what's standardly, typically considered male or female. So the frequency of intersex births uh, usually has been uh, said to be one out of every 2,000 births is an intersex child. Uh, a new study out of Europe now says it's one out of every 250 births. So these can be uh, differences as much as um, someone may, may not be born with the uterus or they may be born with uh, oval testes, uh, things of that nature. So um, the consequences of, of being intersex in America is that most cases, like myself, whenever a child is born or whenever um, it's a child, um, they receive these non-consensual sex chain surgeries in which the child's genitals are are ambiguous, so they go ahead and make them female. They, you know, remove the testes of the gonads and they make the genitals appear female. So the reason I bring this this whole point of intersex people and um, this aspect into the SB6 thing is because it, it does impact uh, uh, as um, intersex people in a negative way. And this actually is a liability to the state of Texas that I want to also bring to your attention because uh, there are people in California and, uh, and uh, New York that have intersex on their birth certificate now. And I do know of some people that are, that may, that are kind of fighting to do that here in Texas too. So if that were to happen, that would be major litigation for the state of Texas. And uh, we should treat everybody equally. And if you want a, a bill, to replace this, I would recommend a different bill, uh, which would be uh, SB 1113. Uh, and I open the floor to any, que any questions at all whatsoever. Thank you, Mr. Cortez.